Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is DJ Young Wavy Fox. Welcome back, welcome back. Today I just wanted to tap into a few of the Instagram questions that I received. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me now at Young Wavy Fox down in the description box. Moreover, I wanted to get into how I became a female DJ in NYC, uh, some of the steps and the trajectory that uh, took place in regards to me finding my purpose and me doing something that I truly, truly, truly love. So it started about four years ago. Uh, I was friends with this girl and she was taking DJ lessons and she was paying for it and I'm like, I'm not going to pay for lessons when you come home i'm gonna just like learn from you and you know just figure out what it is that you're learning in these classes so i you know learned the basics from her and then i went and bought my own dj system i was like listen i love music i come from a very eclectic background i'm afro latina so i grew up listening to bachata merengue everything you know and then as i became an older adult started listening to jazz and just more other eclectic types of music uh that i fell in love with and that enabled me to have such an extensive background uh in regards to what i am able to blend together i'm a multi-genre dj so i'm not just spinning one genre at one time i'm not spending just a whole trap night not that bitch i'm definitely doing um a little bit of everything a little bit of salsa a little bit of trap a little bit of ballet funk i like to mix and mingle all these different cultures and all these different sounds and bridge them as one i started teaching myself how to blend how to do certain things youtube ch channels definitely help youtube channels definitely help but i definitely think it's all practice the more you practice something, the better you become at it. So I practice, I practice, I practice. And initially the girl, um, Soda Pop is her name, DJ Soda Pop, shout out to her. We formed a group together called A Bronx Tale. <laughs> Crazy. I don't think a lot of people know this. And we ended up not being a group because, you know, girls, it could be really petty, really catty. Thank God we were able to still remain being friends uh, after some time. But we did start in a group together. And after, you know, we broke up, after the group broke up, I decided, you know, this is something I still love. It's something that I can do alone. I've always done a lot of things alone. So I was like, I'm going to venture into this rebrand. My DJ name before was KCJ, which is my girl name. And then I was like, you know what? I'm Young Whitley Fox. I just rebranded, started reaching out to all the different venues out in NYC, um, letting them know, you know, I'm interested in DJing at their venues. I put up a SoundCloud for anyone that's going to start DJing. You definitely need two things. DDJ SB2 is literally the best system to start on if you're going to be DJing with Serato. Um, it's a good beginner tool um, to just like, you know, start getting comfortable, start playing with the different buttons, start understanding the DJ system, the electronic DJ system that are out. This is definitely one of, this is, I would say, top. And you can get it for less than 200 bucks if you buy it used at like uh, maybe Amazon or Guitar Center or any electronic uh, music store. Uh, definitely start with a Pioneer DDJ SB2. Um, and you need uh, Serato, the software. So there's a software program that you need to use in order to get your music into the software and start using it and start DJing. Uh, so you definitely need those two things. So, uh, you know, began being self-taught, just practicing, practicing, started booking my own gigs. I'm still my own agent to this day, which is amazing because you like cut out the middle man. Like, give me all my bread. <laughs> I went on my bread. Right. Um, so I just started reaching out to venues in the city uh, where I live in New York and started booking my own gigs, started really taking Instagram, really taking Instagram very serious. You know, it's a tool that can really make you or break you. A lot of people, they're on the Internet and they don't even know why they're on the Internet. They're on the Internet wasting their time, getting dragged into other people's lives when you could really be using this tool to hustle, to make money, to make dreams come true to connect with people from all over the world so what i started doing um, as a marketing tool is putting up these mixes like one minute i'll try to fit four songs in one um one minute three songs in one minute to show my dj style to show the genres that i dj to show people like i really have this skill uh and that has been booking me a lot of stuff still to this day 
Currently, I'm stepping it up the quality of doing it, but I literally just did it on my iPhone. You have to work with what you have. You know, we don't always have the right tools in the right moment, but when you're serious and you're passionate about something and you believe in yourself and you believe in your talent, you got to hustle with whatever's around. Okay, if I had the DJ with two cardboard boxes and a needle, I was going to do it at that time because that's how hungry I was to see this dream come to fruition, to see myself be in a position that I am now. Nowhere close to where I would like to be, but for someone that's doing it on their own, no manager, no agent, anything like that, just really like ground up, I think I'm doing pretty well. And you know, DJing has afforded me so many amazing, amazing, amazing opportunities. I've been able to travel the world. I've done London tours by myself, sold out all five days. I've done tours with other artists, uh, traveled to Germany, um, France, uh, everywhere, Italy, uh, Rome, um, you know, just upstate, uh, places in the U.S., you know, California, L.A. Uh, I went to Dakar, Senegal, Africa for the first time. I did it for Kehende Wiley, the biggest black artist right out right now, you know, one of the huge ones. And I met Naomi Campbell, Cardi by the fucking beach. I mean, when you really take the time out to quiet yourself, center yourself, really be in alignment and listen to the universe, listen to what God is trying to tell you that you need to do and really pay attention to that and start doing it, making a way in what you believe is like what you want to do with your life, what your purpose is. So many amazing doors like open, you know, so many amazing doors open. I feel so grateful, like so blessed that I took a chance on myself. You know, we're always rooting for other people. We're such a culture, the American culture, where we love to root for the basketball players. We love to root for, you know, people that are actually living their dreams. But it's like, when do you start rooting for yourself? You know, when do you start rooting for you? When do you start doing what you know you need to do to get to where you want to be? You know, when do you become your own cheerleader? And in this life, I've been knocked down so many times. I've learned to always get back up and cheer myself on, be my biggest support system, be my own best friend, be my own everything. Love up on myself, okay? You know, you gotta give you everything. We give other people so many parts of us, but we don't invest in ourselves enough. I'm big on investing in myself. I'm big on getting new equipment, setting up a home studio. You know, when I say I'm gonna do something, I'm not those people that chat, honey, I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna put my mind to it and really put my energy towards uh, curating the life that I know that I deserve. You know what I mean? I talk with my hands a lot. I'm from New York. I cannot help it. Um, moreover, I think, you know, 2020, like, everybody has goals and dreams. And if DJing is one of yours, whether you're a female DJ, male DJ, he, she, they DJ, if you're serious about this and it's something that you really feel like you have an ear for, something that you want to do, something you've been contemplating for a while, push yourself. Bet on yourself. You got this that's in you for a reason even if that doesn't work out it will lead you towards where you do need to be you know so i definitely say grab you know the essentials that you need being self-taught is one of the best things you could do it's not hard very simple if you guys want tutorials on beginning dj lessons like what are the first steps in regards to actually applying yourself and actually putting songs into crates how do you blend how do you match the bpms let me know, comment below. That's just, you know, a little brief of how I began DJing, how I started, and I'm excited to do more videos like this. And, you know, I'll be on here super often, giving you my feedback, giving you my life experiences, my stories, who I am, my live DJ sets. Definitely subscribe for that. We got all genres coming. Totally appreciate your time and your energy, and I wish you all the best.